A very good afternoon, thanks for clicking on to Vogan's European Outlook. It's Monday the 26th, the day that lockdown uh, has lifted across uh, the British Isles, at least in the mainland. I believe Northern Ireland, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, is still in a lockdown. The reason why I say that actually is my my aunt passed away in, uh, in County Down uh, a couple of days ago and... Uh, my my mum was wanting to go over to see uh, some of her family, but uh, it would appear that lockdown um, is is still in place there. So they were kind of discouraged to go over uh, on the boat. Um, so, but why am I telling you that? Basically, roads uh, are congested. They're very busy. Uh, certainly here across Scotland, I've uh, travelled from Livingston uh, early hours of this morning went uh, up to Ullapool and heading back down to the central belt and just incredible uh, how busy the roads have become uh, since um, the lockdown was lifted here um, this morning. So as we press forward, uh, of course, some people, many people will probably be, um, as I've already seen, heading um, away for either short breaks or even a main holiday um, so many people will be asking the question what's the weather going to be like of course we've had a remarkably dry month so far and it looks as if it's um, kind of somewhat maintaining itself but we do have uh, some hints of weather times ahead as we go into the month of May of course we've got a system uh, tracking south over the UK uh, certainly across the northern half of the UK today that will continue to press south as we go through the next 24 to 36 hours. But unfortunately it opens up the the door to fresher air coming down from the north. And while the anomaly, the cold anomaly that we've got at the moment for the month so far has kind of slightly eased. But of course you can see here widespread uh, upper minus ones to low minus twos. Uh, given the fact that it's the 26th of the month, uh, it's pretty remarkable actually to see these kind of values. And I think over the last few days of the month, given the trim back in temperature, given the, the reintroducing of frosty nights once again, we could notch slightly colder than this by the time we reach the end of the month here. So, But certainly uh, minus two is quite widely on this map. Uh, this, of course, is the mean temperature anomaly for the month of May here, uh, or sorry, April. And as you can see here, as I skip through uh, Wales and the heart of England here, minus two quite widely, uh, even below normal here across Ireland. And of course, this is a uh, this is despite the fact that we've seen a warm up in recent times, uh, especially during the daytime. But it looks as if we're going to maintain this cold than normal theme, folks. The NAO and the Arctic Oscillation both going negative. And this is the temperature anomaly for Europe uh, through the upcoming five-day period here. And solidly, firmly below normal temperature-wise here across the board. A little bit above normal here across southern Europe. But really extend from much of Iberia through France. And then once you get up into the UK and right across the heart of Europe, you're talking about well below normal temperatures. The 6 to 10 day, eh, pretty much the exact same story here. So amazingly, going out eh, to the period, this is the first six days of May and we have got well below normal eh, here. So it's, it's impressive actually the level of below normal we've got. And even into the 12 to 16 day period, which takes out to the 12th of May so we're approaching the middle portion of the month and the GFS Ensemble remember this is the Ensemble not a, a one model run this is the the you know a collection of 51 uh, members here all saying this level of cold right through the first half of May so very very impressive indeed here and really this this uh, is becoming a very very uh, persistent theme as we go forward this is a uh, the snow chart off the gfs and you can see here that it does suggest snow as we go towards the, the final few days of the month and into the early portion of may here so snow 
is not done with the British Isles yet. And like I've already alluded to, uh, snowfall uh, over the Highlands in early May is not unheard of or unusual, really. You get that once every couple of years, say, you'll get high elevation snow. But could we get snow even down to the lower levels and even as far south as, like, say, west of Oxford, west of Reading, for example? That remains to be seen, but certainly we have got still a cold pattern as we go forward. Nothing major in terms of warmth to speak about just yet. So, hope you have a safe uh, travels wherever you're going, if you are. And I'll be back in the next couple of days with more. Bye for now.